Hello, my internet friends. Welcome to the weekly Thursday video. So glad you're here. We've got a bunch of stuff we're going to talk about today, but it is with a sad and somber heart that I bring to you some information this week. Well, you'll see how sad and awful it is. Um, three things we're going to learn today. First of all, I want to make the point, even though I might be critical, I want to make it very clear that I love people who criticize. I love the trading police. And we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about situations where the robot is fine, but the human is an idiot. And I'll give you a hint at who the human idiot is. Don't say it out loud, though, please. Uh, third thing we're going to work on today is how bad a human can make things terrible. We humans can cause so much destruction. And then, as we've been doing the past few weeks, we have a fourth. We have a bonus and the bonus, as it was last week, is how to be the 87th most popular, most watched trading YouTube channel. Oh, yes, thank you. Because of you, this channel is now one of the top 100 trading channels in the entire world. And the reason why? You have to put yourself in front of the camera. So here's a picture of me and my stepbrother. Um, we got a uh, our vests together. We almost matched. I thought that was a pretty cool picture. But yes, that's me and my stepbrother. I don't have the money for an expensive studio yet, so I'm showing pictures of myself. I want it to connect us. I want you to be able to put a face with the voice, so there I am. I look pretty nice. That's, that's very nice. I don't know why I'm looking up. Now, let's talk about the massive 2017 Heron Scott. Grew up. That's kind of a long name. I think I need a catchier title. But anyway, here's the deal and is the topic of our conversation today. The Heron robot, which is a day trading robot that yeah, you can buy from me if you want, blah, blah, blah. But the Heron robot, based on the numbers, based on the research, air quotes, ready? Can you see me doing it? Should have made about 30% in 2017. Now, I changed settings, and I've talked about that before. Uh, I changed settings toward the end of the year, so I use the most recent new settings. Um, but either way, no matter what settings you used, if you traded the Heron from beginning to end, from January to December, you should have made about 30% of profit if you use an aggressive trade size. 30% to maybe even 40, 45% of profit in 2017. Awesome. That is in line with historical testing. Um, the Heron has averaged on paper 50% per year at an aggressive trade size for 10 years. And 2017 was right on that mark. Yeah. Oh, um, that's not what my, my FX book says, right? And people love my FX book because it's a way to track your live results. Um, but here's a few things we need to talk about that. Um, one is, I didn't trade the whole year. So if you look at my FX book, my, my FX book, if you look at that, that started, I think, May 28th or something like that. Let's call it June 1st. So it was literally half the year. The beginning of the year, which I did not trade live, was pretty awesome. I missed all of that. So there you go. There's one way. I, that's a bonus lesson for you. That's two bonuses today. I didn't mention that, but if you're going to judge it from year to year, how about not trading half the year? Anyway, <laughs> moron. As you can see, that is screw up number one. Yes. So in the last half of the year... Let's go over some numbers, okay? And we're getting to our topic of idiot human tricks, okay? Last half of the year, after June, June to December, the Heron supposedly would have made about 171, and this is just using a very small trade size, about 0.12 lots, so one mini lot. You can use more if you like. For this one, I just use a small trade size. But... Um, I didn't get that 171, which is why the MyFX book account doesn't show that. I either messed up or didn't take about six full winners. Oh, not to mention the fact that one of the very first trades was missed. 
because I did not reset my VPS. I have a very reliable VPS. I've never had any problems, but oh, when I turned on the Heron, I had my one and only VPS reset problem. Hooray! So I missed that. Uh, then the very next trade was a huge spread on a Sunday, which doesn't happen very much. So a winner turned into a loser. And that's how it started, okay? That's just how the MyFX book Heron experiment started. Then, as you probably know by now, a news event was coming up. They're going to talk about Brexit. So I said, I'm turning that off. And I missed two or three full winners. Uh, I mean, the biggest winner that this robot creates. It was two, I think, but maybe it was three. It was a lot. Um, roughly speaking, those six full winners cost me $72 of profits, right? So that $171 in my land is no longer viable because I lost six full winners. Then, as I mentioned, I had a winner on paper turn into a loser real life because of a wild spread. And that's about a $30 flip on that trade. Remember I talked about that? So we're getting uh, well past half of the profit I should have had that I've screwed up and had nothing really to do with the robot. Really, only one thing that uh, it was the spread. The spread will happen to you, all right? The spread will happen. But the rest of it was just humans. Uh, well, one human, me. Oh, but that's not all. Because I was either mentally chagrined about losing some of those winners or I'm just an idiot and I wanted a winner, I'd walk by my computer, and this happened a handful of times. Well, how many is a handful? I didn't write them down because I'm stupid, but I think it was about 12 times. I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot of time. Like, it was almost to the target, so I just took it out, right? So I took a bunch of those out. I made a winner a smaller winner. And then, of course, as I mentioned, I did switch the settings. So as I said, the original settings in 2017 would have done better than my new ones. And I have uh, good reasons for the new ones. You can use the original. Who cares? The bottom line is I did a lot of stuff. We had screw-ups at the beginning. We had screw-ups because of news. We had screw-ups because of me taking it out early because I happened to be walking by my computer and took a look. Um, there's really only one word for that stupidity, and that's um, wow, right? So we had $72 plus about $30 that I screwed around for the – or that got screwed up because of the Sunday trade. Then I didn't – I don't have the exact numbers, and I'm sorry for that, but I think it was about $40 more with my little takeouts, right? So if it's 12 and I lost about $3 on each one of those trades, you see that's about $36. See what I'm saying? So 72 plus 30 plus 40, <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? That only leaves a very small profit left that I should have had, which is what my MyFX book shows, a very small profit. Wow, again, look at all the stuff the human did. But not knowing that, I got a couple comments in the past few weeks about those who are, or those people who are mentioning that, huh, your hair in my FX book doesn't show a gain in line with your testing. <laughs> the trading police came and knocked on my door and said, well, you said it's average is 50% and then you made diddly squat. They are right to say that because it's true. However, you need to keep in mind first and foremost that it was only half of the year. Now, Based on my testimony, uh, my first six months might have been horrible too. Nice job, human. But the first thing to consider is that that wasn't a full year. So that's very, very important. The first six months were nicely profitable. Also keep in mind that if I really wanted to impress the internet, I wouldn't have done all those stupid things, first of all. But... I wouldn't have started my FX book in the middle of the year. Why would I talk about all the time yearly results and then start in the middle of the year? Ah, oh, that's so dumb. But I was so eager to get started. I said, I don't care. I'm getting started. But I probably shouldn't have because I want to compare apples to apples. So that was dumb. Lots of dumb. I told you this was going to be a sad video. And finally, when it got to the toward the end of the year and the mistakes just started to pile up, any self-respecting, profitable, superstar educator would have just turned off 
and deleted and or deleted the MyFixbook account and started over. Okay, that's what they should have done. That's what a good marketer would do. I made mistakes. It wasn't legit. It wasn't apples to apples. So turn it off. Why would I leave that up there for the world to see? It shows my mistakes. It wasn't a full year. It wasn't an accurate depiction of what the robot can actually do. So why would I leave it up? It's idiotic to leave it up. But I wanted to leave it up as a warning. Here's your warning. Do not mess with the robot. Okay? Leave it the freak alone forever. If you're going to be an automated trader, be an automated trader. But as my little punishment, I left it up as a reminder of how dumb I am. So in 2018, we're starting over. We have a full year. We are going to be able to document it from beginning to end and find out really what it can do accurately. And no more embarrassments of all my mistakes. Those are gone. Now everything is accurate and pristine. So just out of curiosity, how has it gone since I'm never going to screw up again and I'm letting the robot be all alone and function properly? Oh, it's profitable. January has been a nicely profitable month. Oh, wow. Isn't that funny how this year is running so smoothly now that I've made a commitment never to be a stupid butt face again? Sorry for the language, right? And it's a family show. Um, and as you may or may not know by now, the actual results are higher than the so-called testing results. They're so-called because that's what they are, <laughs> testing results. So it's up. I'm not messing with it. Now we have apples to apples, full year, and I'm never going to touch it. It's never going off. I'm not turning off for news. It's never going off. So hopefully you will heed my warnings. Be an automated trader that is profitable, not one that screws around, okay? That's number one point of this video. Don't make those mistakes. But otherwise, I would love for you to sit back and watch it. Feel free to watch it fail, right? If you don't believe in automated strategies or people, strangers on the internet, that's fine. Just watch it. You can watch it go down in flames if it does, right? The trading police love to monitor people who make claims and then point out their shortcomings, right? And watching it, this happen, watching the heron, you don't have to buy anything. This is just an experiment. I want to prove that testing can happen in real life. That's basically the ax I'm trying to grind. And watching this happen in 2018, whether it succeeds or fails, it doesn't cost anyone a dime. Anyone can simply watch from the sidelines, or you can simple watch if you like, which is watching with a simple, I don't know what that means. Anyone can simply watch from the sidelines and see how it goes. There's no police, no trading police necessary, right? It's free. It's free just to watch, right? Or if you're interested, you could join the experiment, get in with a small trade size, and let's do it together. That would be fun too. Buy the robot or send me an email, whatever you want to do. The research is good. I worked hard on it. I've tested it on three platforms. The human is now fixed. There won't be any more screw-ups from me ever, ever, ever again. It's going to take every trade, and it's never going off. Um, but the bottom line is, isn't it worth the try? The research numbers are phenomenal. If we can get close to that, isn't it worth it? Absolutely. And if we learn how to handle automated systems, isn't it worth it? Absolutely. There is so much to gain and so little to lose, especially if you don't trade it, right? If real life turns out to be better than the testing, and it has so far, you can check the results on my website, performance tracking website, then it's absolutely worth it. It's an emphatic yes. It is going to be a worthwhile experiment. The upside to a robot putting up numbers that are much higher than the market is massive. If there is a tool that regular people like us can use that kills the market, this is an extraordinary addition to our lives, right? 
and it's worth the shot. It's worth the trouble. It's worth the discipline to do it right. Even if it doesn't put up the numbers that research showed, if it's close, again, it's worth it. And if we find it not working, that's valuable too, because then we can adjust. Maybe the settings need to be adjusted. Maybe the time of day. Maybe the this. Maybe that. Maybe a different internet provider. I don't know. Whatever adjustment we need to make, we'll find out. And then we'll adjust. And then we'll see if that automated strategy version can do better than the market. Right? And if you don't believe in day trading, we're going to find that out too. Right? We're going to find all this out. At the end of this year, we're going to have so much information. And that's why this right now is the most excited I've ever been about trading. I've had some very good streaks. I've had some very good years. I've had some very good times. This is the most fun I've ever had because of all the research and now the lessons learned from last year. It's all culminated in this tracking it, watching it, learning from it, and see what happens. So I'd love for you to come along, whether that's for free, watching it on the performance tracking tab on my website. Um, you can email me if you can't find it, whatever. Uh, I'm just very excited for you to watch or even to join. If you want to trade it with me, that would be awesome too. All right. Um, we're over, oh, we just got some people up over 1060 in our top 100 website. And if you're looking for any of the robots, the heron or otherwise, email me or go to kajabinext.com. Oh, you want to know how to email me? There it is. All right, everybody, that's all for this week. That was embarrassing, but I'm strong now. And hopefully I'll be strong for the rest of my life. See you next week. Talk to you.